Oh, what's up everyone? My name is Nigark. Welcome back to Acorn Assault Rodent Revolution. I'm beginning to admire your persistence, Charles, but there is only but there is one thing you lack. Oh yeah, what's that? A finely waxed mustache, of course. Really, we're going back to the mustache? Okay, whatever. Alright, so you're gonna go there. You will go back here. And then you will help protect. Kaboom. Good. Even though this roll will most likely end up getting bombed, I would rather... rather him not do too much damage to me right now. See, he chooses not to combine them properly. It's so weird to me. <clears throat> and then the bomb doesn't go where it should. Like, it's... It's so odd to me that it chooses what it chooses, but whatever. So right there. Um, we are also going to defend right here. And now it's, it's like super blocking me from some of the places that I want to put stuff. So we're going to put right here. Like all up here is a mess. Like, all this is garbage. But hey, we killed one of his things. It's a good start. And he got acorns. What a jerk. He gets so many of those on his side. Huh. Interesting. Chose not to get them. But there's his assault, which... Didn't do anything but more damage to me, which is. I just don't get their choices. I don't get their choices. Okay. We're gonna put two in this row. So we're going to want this. One is gonna go up front. One is gonna go. Right here. So the bomb will probably go here or here. Which is unfortunate, but it's the choice that we have to make. And yes, this will kill both of those things in that row. Making it harder for him to combine things. Um, if the bomb does go right here or right here, I can weasel him out of, of the danger area. Of the danger zone. And it chose not to go there. What? What? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. See, if I were the AI, I would be kicking the player's ass probably way too hard. Uh, and there's acorns there that I'm gonna just I'm just not gonna get. Just not getting it. Um Here's what we'll do, I think. Ten, twenty, forty. Forty in this one. Like this. Um. Yeah, back here. Then block it up right there. So that's thirty. 40. And then just to make sure that he's repairing and not using strength, we're going to use extra damage here. <laughs> Even though I know the, the row would have died, but I want to make sure that he's low enough that he has to use at least two repairs. So he can't, like, repair strength. He has to repair repair. This better not blow up the acorns. If it blows up the acorns, I will yell. Okay, it didn't blow up the acorns. Good. I would have been so upset. Okay, so I can get my acorns. I can protect this guy. So let's let's defend him up. This has a health of 50. Mm. 
do it like this. Because I want him to have more health. And I know I only needed one attack, but I have a lot of extra acorns laying around to do more damage to him, so I'm gonna do that while I can. So now, the bomb will not straight up kill this guy. Where this one will totally die in one hit, this one will not. He has to do an extra 10 damage to it. Which is not, not hard, but at least the bomb doesn't just straight up kill it. That's what I'm going for here, is just not, not letting it die right away. Oh, he's gonna blow up all of my sandbags, what a jerk. I worked so hard on those. <laughs> and he, he used strength, instead of uh, repairing. Or no, he didn't. I just didn't have the proper defense, okay. So we're gonna get him out of there. Damn it, I'm so upset with that. And there's no way I can combine the- well, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I can. And you go back here. Haha! -ha. Now it won't die. And, those won't, that one won't die either. Suck it. Oh wait. It, d it doesn't happen on his turn. It happens on my turn. Whatever, shut up. At least I don't think it happens on my turn. His turn. Yeah, it, I think it happens at the start of my turn. Mm. Oh, no, see? Haha! -ha. That one still has 10 defense on it. Worth. Totally worth. Now I have to build something away from those two big guys. As it puts this here, how rude. I don't really need it though, to be honest. So you can see 10 health, 70 health. Um, Forty-five. Uh, this one is... 40, 50, uh, 65. So 45 will be far, far easier to kill. Because I only need to use two strength. So you there, you there. There, here, and here. Two strength. Which should also do enough damage from these guys to make sure that he repairs, instead of using strength. Yep, that's two repairs worth. <clears throat> There's the garbage truck. I put out my trash. Yes, I did. And he's gonna blow up that wall again. Okay, he's not going for my units, he's going for the walls. <clears throat> Which, technically, I can make that live, but I'm so not going to. Okay, now let's do some math. So we have a total attack of... Uh, 15... Plus 60, which is 75. Plus these two guys. So... 95. And 1, 2, 3, 4... 5. 5 of them which is 5 times uh, 10, or 5 times 40 is 200, so we can kill. As long as I do this. You there. And full on strength. Haha! -ha. It only takes me about 10 minutes to do math to kill you, but I killed him. We did it! Uh, I'll tell you what, join the king's army and you and your scrolls will be paid handsomely. We could use more men like you. There's no way I'll fight for the king, our morals can't be bought. Suit yourself then, I'm sure this decision will blow up in your face. <laughs> we'll do 90 damage. Okay, so whatever I place, it will kill. That's that's what the game is telling me right now. You place it, we'll kill it. So, yeah. 
It has no shame. And I totally don't want to build on this side. Well, maybe. Because it would be really hard for it to hit a lot of things if I build over here. So that's sort of what I'm looking at, is both sides are not that bad to build on. Kind of figured it would go there. But I have a way of getting that out of the way, too. So it will come out like this. This. So he's safe. And, um... I would need two. And I can't get this out of the way. So we will build, like, this. I know it looks weird, but it'll... When I, when I get the thing in the future, it'll be good. Yeah, screw you, sandbag. Oh, I got acorns again. I hardly ever get acorns. So that is definitely killing this guy. There's there's no way it's not, because he's going to use strength. A lot of strength. Oh yeah. But he left that one defenseless. So we will, um... Just put a barrel there. We're gonna put one here. One here. Um, a barrel here. And one here. So a lot of options for moving them around in the next turn when I see where the bomb is placed. Because I could, like, combine him to be in this row. This row or this row, I could combine these to be right here, um, right here, or up here. I can move around my units a lot in the next turn, depending on where the bomb is placed. Assuming he doesn't kill all of them, which he will. And I don't really have to move my units, so that's good too. And I will be able to kill this guy. Which is also pretty convenient. Um, yeah, we'll just do this, um, as much as I would like those, I'm not going for them right now. You there, you there, uh, it would just be a waste, to be honest, so you'll go there, and then kind of how, how I had things before. Yeah, he will kill that without having to do anything. Just making sure. Because he had that's 25 hit points in that row. And he has 30 attack. Ninety damage bombs is so rude. Is he gonna kill this one again? It looks like it, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he will. It'll be 5 overkill. That's okay. Where's the bomb? Oh, right, it doesn't place this round. Okay. Um... So you guys will have the option of going here or here. And... And just like that. That's pretty reasonable, I think. And then we will do a defense just to make sure that these don't get annihilated by him combining things too much. <coughs> Hmm. Is he just gonna stay down there? It looks like it. Yep, okay, so the defense was a bit of a waste. And that's where the TNT is gonna go. Okay, so I can get him out of trouble. It'll be a hell of a combination, too. 
funny enough. Well, it doesn't have to be a hell of a combination. Hold on. It can be... Um, you go... Oh yeah, this will be good. I like this. Like that. And like that. Nice. And then we're gonna knock him down a peg. Yeah. That's gonna be some mean damage to him. Haha, -ha, screw your sandbags. That was in my way. Sucks that he's taking out my sandbags, but whatever. What can he do? Is he gonna get a bomber? Yeah? Yep, he got a bomber. Okay, that that only hits one row though. Alright. I got acorns. Nice. So I'm pretty confident that I will kill. However, I'm not a hundred percent on that. So what I'm going to do is uh, kill this guy and get things set up sort of everywhere. That was the barrel, that was not the squirrel. Good. Good good job, me. That was that was the play that I wanted. That was the play that I want. He's still dead. It's just it was dumb. <laughs> so he's super low. I mean, no matter where he places the bomb, I'll be able to kill him. Almost certainly, no matter what he does, I will be able to kill him. Yes, he's dead. It was just... that barrel placement was really, really silly. <coughs> Alright, ready? Uh, you go there. You go there. Uh, barrels will combine. Go there, and there. And then one strength, and he's done. Kaboom! Cool, awesome. Character unlocked! Haha! -ha. I did it! Charles swiftly sliced off the Marquis's perfectly manicured beard. I yield, I yield, squeaked the once mighty mustachioed squirrel as he scooped up what was left of his facial hair. Charles and the, the rebel shuffled past the sobbing Marquis and entered the, his, entered the gates to find the king in his throne. At last we meet, you've made quite a name for yourself, Charles, said the king. And so have you, Charles said in a stern voice. It's time we take back what is rightfully ours. You're so cute. Ha, ha ha, yours, the king chuckled. It's legal because I wish it. Oh. Your nuts are as good as mine. <laughs> they knew what they did there. They knew what they did there. Okay. Uh, wow, this place is fancy. Welcome to my palace, Charles. Excuse me while I count my acorns. Counting them leaves me pretty exhausted since I have so many. Those are ours and we are here to take them back. You see, Mr. Charles, I love acorns. The look, the taste, the texture. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The king will turn one of your squirrels into a gold statue for a single turn when he begins his turn. Neat. That is going to have to wait for next time, though. My name is Nagark, this is Acorn Assault, and thank you for watching.